Hey, Super Doodlers. I, I had a comment recently from Oliver Wakila or Wakila um, talking about how to draw the ideas that are in your brain. And I, I, very often I get comments and questions about this. And, and it's not about, some people have got a problem saying, you know, how do I develop my imagination? That's something else. Some people have got an imagination and they've got all these pictures in their heads and they don't know how to get them out of their heads and onto paper. You just got to draw, basically. <laughs> you just got to do it. And uh, I think maybe you're, you're holding back from trying. That's, that's probably the thing. Now, if you remember as you were growing up, you went to school, you'd never written a word in your life. You could talk probably when you got to school, um, and maybe you might read a bit but uh, suddenly you went to school and they started making you learn your letters, and learn words, you had to learn to do letter shapes. You spent hours and hours and days and weeks practicing those shapes. You spent hours learning how to put those shapes together to make simple words and then longer and longer words. You spent hours reading, practicing. Um, if, if you'd have done all of that, learning how to draw, you would be brilliant by now. You really would, everybody would be. It's just the way education is. They decide we're gonna do writing, we're not gonna do drawing. Some people, as they're growing up, they just draw and they draw and they draw. And, and what they do is they build up this vocabulary of drawing, just as you do when you're learning to write, you build up a vocabulary of words. You know, you learn all those words, you learn all their meanings, you learn how to put them together. Some people, they draw and they draw and they draw. They build up this vocabulary of shapes, of squares, of cubes, of circles, and, and they learn how to put all these shapes together and then they kind of clothe them all in shade and shadow and they know how to do it. So when they see something in their head, they think it's basically this thing in my head is built out of a square and a circle and a triangle and I'll put that all together and they know how to do it. And it is by doing it that you get to draw the things in your head. <laughs> it's, it's a terrible catch 22 thing that goes round and round. So if you've got ideas in your head and you can see the pictures and you want to get them out, the only way to do it is to draw. Now, the big problem with that is that you go, you see these fantastic pictures and you, you go and draw stick men or something and you think, oh, it's not very good. You cannot expect to be a brilliant artist and draw that fantastic thing in your imagination overnight. It takes work. It really, really does. So, but you've got to start somewhere. So if you understand that, you can say, today I'm gonna to start working at it. And I think because you've got, if you've got a good visual imagination and you can see those things, I think you will probably get there quicker than others. I made a book um, called Everyone Can Draw and you can get it on Kindle and various things where, where you start right at the beginning and kind of, but it quickly takes you through from really, really simple shapes into seeing how they create more complicated shapes. I made a, a whole video course of it on my Patreon Art School course. You can come and do that, learn. You, you're not going to learn all this stuff on YouTube. You need a kind of a structured way of learning. You've got to sit down and get on with it. <laughs> you need to learn all those kind of basic building blocks onto which you can then sort of build this structure of the, of the ideas into your head. Oh, here, let me show you. Now, say you have in your head some kind of weird idea for an animal and it's a kind of a horse animal you, you kind of need to know you know how to draw <laughs> horses <laughs> and um you know they, they're kind of basically um sort of a there's a cylinder there and there's a box on the front the eye will be there and then the horns will be there but hey let's not make it a um a normal horse you know you you have to kind of then learn a bit of perspective to know kind of how these things um, work together. Um, and let's say its neck is on a spring. I'm just going to do that as well. There, let's say its neck is on a spring and uh, its body is uh, an oil can or something like that. Uh, it's knowing these simple, simple shapes. You can give him, you know, sort of elephant legs at the front. And sort of spindly little greyhound kind of legs at the back. And, you know, we might, uh, I don't know, have a 
some kind of weird tail. I don't know. It's a collection of shapes, and this is now a, a kind of a, a framework onto which you build. So let's put that there, and then this will come along here. And we'll want that kind of bottom mouth part will be there. And you'll know that the, the nostrils go around about there, and the eye will be about there. And you can maybe put those things there. This will sort of curve around there. Now, these two things work. Um, you know, you need to know quite how they work in terms of perspective. Um, and then we'll put the neck on a spring. Um, you know, you need to have drawn a few springs, and I've looked at a few springs. Um, and if not springs, you know, find an old an old fashioned telephone, you know, the ones with the receiver or the piece of wire on the end. They usually had these kind of springy cords on there. Uh, go and have a look at those. And and it's it's about building up um, this, um, you know, vocabulary of shapes. And then once you've you know this, that the, the, the vocabulary shapes underneath it that that are the, the structure underneath and then you have to kind of build up this other vocabulary of you know of drawing and you know how to use a pen you you know you've got to learn to how a pen works or if you want to do it in color you've got to learn a bit about color um let's say that's an oil can something like you know, those big oil drums and then sticking out here there's going to be this rather pathetic little kind of greyhound back legs and um and to get it looking, to get it sitting on the table, to so that it feels like it's right. Again, you've got to do a bit of work on perspective to, uh, you know, to get that feel right. And you know, underlying this drawing, there is going to be, I don't know whether let's have a vanishing point there, and it's sort of maybe coming like that. And this table is getting kind of nearer and nearer. And, I can do I can do it because I've done it so many times. I got I got a kind of a feel for how um, an object like you know sort of made up object like this sits on a plane. But that's through years and years of practice drawing. And if you want to get those ideas out of your head, like I just did now, you've got to know the language. It's just like if you want to write a story, you can tell it out loud and that'll be it once you'll have done it but if you want to record it you've got to learn how to write you've got to learn a b c put the letters together to make words you've got to learn how to put those words together to make sentences and so it goes on you've done an awful lot of work in your life doing that you haven't done a lot of work doing this and that's what you need to do well i hope you enjoyed that and why not go and have a look at this old video i made about getting a box inside your head uh, which is sim along the similar lines or just have a go at the mystery drawing either way make sure you click that logo at the top to subscribe for lots more drawing videos and come and join my art school on patreon all my courses are only three dollars a month which is about one pound ninety or two pounds seventy at the time of making this video i do assignments and lots more we're having a lot of fun on there come and have a look in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye